thinking of you is how I spin my Tell me, baby, baby, what's your sign? Cause you're astronomically fine And all I do is think of you Baby, all No. In the back. <laughs> Y'all say Oprah. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all fuck with Kale like that? Yes, sir. Kale <laughs> ration, bro. Mm. I feel like Kale or food. It is. They used to put cake to use Kale to cut the greens, bro, back in the I'll day. Right. Bro, I'm telling you, like, it's some of that fish. It's some about candy, uh, yes, Kale that fish. I'm like not fucking with. I love Kale. The way that we speak. The R is the R's. It's the yeah. R's. <laughs> That's the what R's. it's a whole letter that other people missing out on. <laughs> it's that R. It's R. Yeah, yeah, they sleep on the R. I'm like, why don't you so. use it? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Joyce Rice. I'm a singer from San Diego, California. I moved to LA nine years ago to manifest my wildest dreams. My name is Duckworth. I'm a music artist and designer from uh, South Central Los Angeles. Moved to the Bay for like eight years and was in New York for two years and moved back because I just make better art and music in Los Angeles. My name is Victoria Monet. I'm an artist and a songwriter from Sacramento, California. I moved to LA to pursue music. My name is Vince, I'm from the city. I make songs, you know what I mean? Amongst other things. What's that on that beat? That's Grop Dad. 4,000. Creating, I'm painting, I'm drawing, I'm rapping, I'm producing. But I started going viral because of my personality. Yeah, I go by the name of Hit Boy. I'm a producer and an artist from Pasadena slash Fontana, California. Been broke, swiping to my been broke. Gas station pump, typing in the zip code. At the ATM, trying to load the bit though. I don't gang bang, but I still crypto. I came from a gospel family. Dad played keys, mom sang, people playing bass, guitar, drums, and everything. Yeah, it was always around me. My mom didn't let me listen to like hip hop or anything like that when I was younger because of gospel and everything. I was an only child growing up and from a uh, church background, so I was going to church in Oak Park, mm -hmm. in the church choir, but also listening to the radio, trying to like, you know, imitate things. It's often hard for me to describe to an out-of-towner how embedded we are in whatever the game is. That shit is just so in my blood. It's there, that's how we live. It's our culture to just make up shit on the spot, and it'd be cool. You know, the Bay Area stigma. Everybody takes from us, everybody watch us, right? Yeah, because as soon as you do decide to put it out, someone's still gonna take it. Like, yeah. whether you're getting that check or not, but just like, I guess it's just about having as much of your business in order as possible, patent your shit, copyright your shit, right. like, yeah. have a plan and do it the most, more than anybody else, so everyone calls them out. Like, yeah, it's we've like, seen you that. Know, exactly. Mm. Just yeah. making yours that's so true. that's undeniably like, y'all biting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, There's a slogan that the Jabberwockies, they're from Sacramento, they always say biters will be eaten. They feel mm -hmm. a too. Yeah. yeah, I already yeah. know. I was in this dance group with them um, called Boogie Monsters. Oh yeah. my god, that yeah. sounds like shit. A boogie Monsters. <laughs> that's that's crazy. <laughs> biters will be oh, eaten. Biters will be eaten. Yes, yes, we wasn't playing. Feeling like I'm floating to the ceiling, is it magic? Baby, tell me why you disappearing, is it magic? I won't never tell them how I did it, it was magic. Can you imagine? Why do you think it's important for our region to work and build together as a whole? Because uh, we're like historians, being artists of this generation. Also, it's just, it's just stronger when you like, it's a bigger number. I'll be saying P from QC talk about how Atlanta got the best rappers or the biggest rappers. I mean, at least it seemed like they sticking together, so I feel like, you know. Yeah. Who knows if that's gonna happen out here? What do sticking together mean? Yeah. If you really want to think about it, how right, are we cool. not working together? How are we not getting along? That's a business conception. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to say Atlanta doing this, Atlanta doing that. Atlanta has the music industry. So since Atlanta has the music industry, because trap music is the most popular sound, you can't compare it 
you feel me, to anything else. It just don't make no sense. Facts, but we're talking about one city versus all of California. There's so many, like we're too separated. The, it's the population disparity. We don't have one majority black city in Los Angeles County, not one. So where are these clubs gonna happen? Who's gonna own these clubs? Mm. Who's gonna let black music, hip hop music mm -hmm. in these spaces? Because in Atlanta, you have a lot of black people who have a lot of you know, assets, a lot of things that they have owned for such a long time. I knew you was finna come through with the game, bro. You be dropping that shit. <laughs> it's a lot of people in the Bay kind of making their own waves, though. I like the content that LaRussell puts out, and I think he's one of the most consistent and at least doing what he want to do. So I say channel, channel tracks. I mentioned it before, but him being a black man from Compton, uh, but doing house music, like, is like extraordinary because we were not raised on house music mm. at all, you know? But he's like, literally, he's one of the ones that's building that bridge from like here to like international and being able to like travel and do tours around the world. From San Diego, there's this artist, Roan Messina, that's a really amazing vocalist. I'll take this moment to shout out my little sister. Her name is Kendra J. She's Come on. from SAC. She started as a dancer. She danced for Drake, B, you name it. And now she's taking music by storm and she's killing it. Okay, so you gotta put DW Flame in there. You gotta put Mino Riches in there. You gotta put Savi Third in there. You gotta put Rimble in there. You gotta put Huey Briss in there. You Huey. gotta put- Huey. Huey. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Huey Briss. I really be in the city, so like, mm -hmm. I don't want to miss nobody. The legacy that California artists should leave is just authenticity, individuality, honesty in their art. Mm. We we all have so many different ideas. We're from cut from the same cloth, but I feel like if you just take a second to listen to each individual artist, you'll hear so many different nuances. There's a lot of smart you know, superstars that can be made right from this soil. To this day, for the nine years that I moved here, everyone is still getting better yep. on top of their shit, paving their way, so it's really inspiring. The gang appreciates y'all, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Everybody Sweet. input, uh, solid Sweet. information. Straight up. Ooh. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. You wasting that thing. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.